to all today we are going to discuss the part 4 of the cockroach of the chapter structural organization in animals according to the ncert now in the previous videos we know very well that we have studied the 20 segments found in the cockroach how 20 6 in the case of the head 3 in the thorax and 11 segments in the abdomen region but remember this thing that we have already discussed the six segments of the head which have fused together to form the head capsule three in the thorax region pre thorax mesothorax and metathorax okay and today we are going to discuss the rest 11 segments and that rest 11 segments are found in the abdomen region of the cockroach okay but one thing to be remembered here is that this 11 segments in the cockroach are found or can be seen only in the embryonic stage while in the adults only and only 10 segments are found in the abdomen region is it clear in embryonic condition the abdomen has 11 segments so 6 in the head 3 in the thorax and 11 in the abdomen region so like this it becomes 20 but in adults only 10 segments are present okay and one more thing you have to remember is that that abdomen is without any locomotory organs okay because we know very well that the locomotory organs say for the three pairs of the legs were associated with the thorax region okay but here in the abdomen region there is no locomotory organ okay this point to be noted now out of the listen in embryonic stages 11 segments are present in adults 10 segments are present but out of this 10 segments nine segments are only clear in the case of the male and only seven segments are clear in the case of the female right what what happened to the other segments so the other segments have been modified or they have been reduced so out of the 10 segments in the case of the male nine segments are only clear and in the females out of the 10 segments only seven segments are clear okay and one more thing that all characteristics of sexual dimorphism in cockroach are found in the abdomen what do we mean by sexual dimorphism sexual dimorphism means the sexes are separate as we know very well that cockroach is a unisexual organism and the male and the female cockroaches are separate so all the characteristic of the sexual dimorphism means you can recognize by viewing the cockroach that whether it is a male or a female why because the differentiating features between a male cockroach and a female cockroach are associated with the abdomen region which we will be discussing today okay now exoskeleton of each segment exoskeleton of the each segment of the abdomen region not only the abdomen region each of the segment of the body okay consist of four chitinous plates we have discussed earlier also that these four chitinous plates are called as the sclerites okay say for if this is a segment then in this segment one is the tergum right one is the sternum and two are the pleurites okay so each segment of the abdomen also has four chitinous plates or the sclerites out of that one is tergum one is sternum and two are the pleurites okay now let's discuss about that which of the abdomen segments are very important in the male and the female in the case of the females very very important one in the case of the females the seventh sternum we know very well that seven segments are clear in the female so in the case of the females the seventh sternum is little bit broad okay and it is boat shaped i am repeating in females the seventh sternum is broad and it is boat shaped and together with the eighth and the ninth sternum it forms a brood or a genital pouch so again in the case of the female seventh sternum is broad it is boat shaped and this seventh sternum together with the eighth and the ninth sternum forms a brood or a genital pouch in the case of the female okay now 
the anterior region okay the anterior region of this genital pouch found in the female right contains a female gonopore it contains a female gonopore means this genital pouch contain a female gonopore which is present in the eighth segment which is present in the eighth segment on the ventral side okay and uh, and spermatical pores and the collateral glands these spermatical pores and the collateral glands we will be discussing when we'll be talking about the female reproductive system in detail okay so in females the seventh sternum which is boot shaped and broad or large in shape right it together with the eighth and the ninth segment uh, eighth and the ninth sternum forms the brood or the genital pouch and the anterior end of this genital pouch consists of a female gonopore found in eighth segment or ventral side spermatical pores and collateral glands fine now let's talk about the males in males right in males the genital pouch or the chamber lies at the hind end of the abdomen in males the genital pouch or the chamber lies at the hind end of the or abdomen which is bounded which is bounded dorsally by ninth and tenth terga which is bounded dorsally by ninth and tenth terga and it is ventrally bounded by the ninth sternum okay so what i just want to say that in males also genital pouch or chamber is lying at the hind end of the abdomen which is bounded dorsally by ninth and tenth terga and ventrally by the ninth sternum now what this pouch contains what this pouch contain so in this pouch or the chamber dorsal anus is present anus is found in the 10th segment ventral male gonopore is present which is found in the 9th segment and gonopophyses which are the chitinous plates around the male gonopore are also present so genital pouch contains a dorsal anus found in the 10th segment ventral male gonopore which is found in the ninth segment and the gonopophyses which are the chitinous plates which are found around the male gonopore okay now few more important things regarding the abdomen region of the cockroach is that that in both the sexes in both sexes whether it is a male cockroach or a female cockroach the 10th tergite the 10th tergite bear one pair of 10th tergite bear one pair of anal cerci means anal cerci is actually one pair and it is associated with both male as well as female and each anal cerci each anal cerci is segmented means each anal cerci is 15 segmented and these anal cerci act as sound receptors or we can say it as they act as phonoreceptors means they receive the sound impulses with the help of these anal cerci okay so anal cerci are actually uh, associated with the 10th tergite now male cockroach not the female cockroach only the male cockroach has a pair of small and pointed anal styles and they are attached to the ninth sternum so male consists of a pair of small pointed structures known as the anal styles associated with the ninth sternum but remember this thing that anal styles are absent in the case of the females because of the presence of the anal styles we can differentiate between a male cockroach and a female cockroach from outside because the female cockroach will be not having the anal style in the ninth sternum and in the ninth sternum the male will be having the anal styles okay now the difference between the anal cerci and the anal style is that that anal cerci were segmented they were 15 segmented but anal styles are non segmented anal styles are non segmented and they help in copulation they help in copulation they help in mating they help in copulation while the anal cerci were acting as the sound receptors okay so anal styles and anal cerci are also important they can be asked in the exams okay now anus is found at the end of 10th segment anus is found at the end of the 10th segment in both male and female cockroach means the anus is actually found at the end of the 10th segment and uh, they are found in both male as well as female 
not only this there is a pair of scent glands there is a pair of scent glands which are also called as the stick glands which are also called as the stick glands between fifth and the sixth segment okay and uh, fifth and sixth abdominal segment and their secretions keep the enemy away okay so scent glands are found between fifth and sixth abdominal segment known as the stink glands and their secretion helps uh, uh, to keep the enemy away and some scientists believe some scientists believe that these scent glands are also acting as the sex attractants okay uh, they can attract the member of the opposite sex so this must also be remembered so today we have discussed about uh, the abdomen region of the male and the female cockroach and in the previous video we have discussed the head as well as in the thorax region okay so thanks a lot for watching and if you want to maintain the notes so at the last i have given the screenshot of this video so you can check that one thanks a lot